Hey, this is Brother Peter with Tidbits from the Word. How can you get so much out of a verse, Brother Peter? How can you get so much out of a word, Brother Peter? By studying it, by breaking it down, by doing a word study, by doing a word search, by getting a Bible, by the way, get a Bible that you can study. Get a Bible. Get one with a dictionary in it. This is a date. This is a date. I would, I would suggest this Bible to anybody in the world who is a Bible studier, who really wants to study the Bible. I would, I, listen, this Bible is $116. You can buy it through a, a, a book, uh, a Bible bookstore for uh, $87 if um, you order it. And you'll have to pay the shipping on it. But it is well, well worth the money. Well worth the money if you are a Bible studier. Now, the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews, I'm, I'm going to take, I'm going to go, we've been in the book of Hebrews now seven Seven of these, uh, two, four, six of these excerpts. This will be the seventh, and we're going to go back to chapter one again, and we're going to say, "Well, you say, brother Peter, you just talked an hour and a half on a verse or so, and you're going right back to chapter one again. You just went to chapter one, well, yeah, but I went to chapter one in those six excerpts. I only covered three verses. <laughs> we're going to verse four, and verse four." being made so much better than the angels as he hath by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. How did he obtain it? By inheritance. By inheritance. He, he was obedient. He was an obedient to a more excellent name. How, how did he do that? You remember in the garden? He, he went over into the garden and he said, Lord, God, my Father, if it be possible, my Father, would you let this cup pass from me? But, however it be, so be it. I will be willing to go even to the cruel death of the cross, to be scourged, to be spit on, to have them snatch my beard out, to have them beat me, to have them do what they did. And of course, at all times, the devil is around to tempt him and to say, like the man on the other side said, if thou be the Son of God, get, get us and you off this cross. He could have done it. He could have had 10,000 angels at any second come on the scene. He was the controller of all the angels of heaven in new one number. He wouldn't need 10,000. There was one angel killed 186,000 people one night. He wouldn't need but only one angel, but he didn't call any. He, he was obedient to the death of the cross, and because of his obedience gave him a more excellent name, the name uh, of the only begotten Son of God. Ch uh, chapter 1 and verse 5, 1 and 5 says this, For unto which of the angels saith he at any time, Thou art my Son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall to me be to me a son. Again, I tell you, my friends, as you watch uh, Brother Peter uh, on the YouTube and do these little excerpts, I challenge you to open your Bible always to Proverbs chapter 8. Keep before you the last end of that chapter. You say, Brother Peter, that was talking about wisdom. Well, all wisdom was made flesh and dwelt among us. And his name was Jesus. He was the light. He was the wind. He was the breath of fresh air. He was before there was a was. He was with the Father. When anything was spoke, he was the spokesman. He himself was the spokesman. The Father had committed all unto him to his son before the world was. And when the son came down and was dwelt among us in flesh, he left a heavenly abode where he sat beside his father in heaven. He left that abode, came down here, and was obedient to his father's will and earned the right to go back and sit down 
beside the Father after leaving for a 33-year journey upon this earth, leaving all that he had made, leaving all that was under his hands and his feet, all that was before him, leaving all of that for a 33-year trip through uh, temptation of the devil and the ways of the world and had to come here. And by the way, he proved himself in the temple when he was 12 years old. He was who he said he was. Proved it many other ways, though. When he was born, when the shepherds came, the shepherds never came to anybody else that ever came upon the earth. There never was a star over anybody else that came on the earth. There never were three wise men sent by God to somebody else at their birth and give them gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Gave them gold to live on so they could go to Egypt. Gave them frankincense so they could smell good and be what they ought to be and be the, being the elite of the people and gave him the myrrh for his burial. Gave him the myrrh for he, he, his, his birth was his uh, birth and death were represented in the gift from the Magi when they came and they uh, from the far land. And by the way, those Magi were in uh, touch with God. The angel of God came to them. Do not return by the way of Herod because he is wanting to come and kill the baby. So they returned by another way. And the shepherds, by the way, were in touch with God the Father. So here's uh, the groups of people, pretty good sized groups of people that were in touch with God. And he showed the city people, where the Magi and them, they were rulers in the city. They were great uh, wealthy people. And then the poor shepherds. So God came to all. He came to the poor, and I like the fact that shepherds came first. He came to the poor and the needy first. And then he also extended his hand to the Nicodemuses of the world, to the rich, and said, Thou must be born again. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how wealthy you are. I don't care what you have. You've got to come to me the exact same way the shepherd does. And you've got to bow down and accept me as your Savior. Now I hadn't even passed the first excerpt of chapter 4 and we are seven minutes into it. And now chapter 5, he was the, on verse 5, excuse me, of chapter 1, he was the only begotten Son of the living God. And it, he was worshipped by angels. Verse 6 said he was made a little lower than the angels, but the angels worshipped him. The angels worshipped him. Let me read that. 1 and 6. Make sure that I'm saying it right. And again, when he being in the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let us, the angels of God, worship him. And the angels of God worshiped him. Worshiped Jesus. Do you know he was not their savior? He was their creator. The angels were created beings. The angels were created uh, beings by God. Uh, we were born beings upon this earth. We were created the first man, but then from man came man. When God created the angels and spoke the angels into existence, he spoke an innumerable number into existence. It was like when he spread his hand out over the sky and he said, I'm going to put these lesser lights up here. Four. And there's an innumerable number of lights that God put in the sky just like that because he is God because he is the creator because he is the one that spoke everything into existence through his son and he was the creator of the angels and a, a member of the Godhead now here's Jesus Christ a member of the Godhead coming down to walk upon the earth and we see that in uh, verse 8 in verse 8 John 1 1 said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us wow he was made flesh and dwelt among us wow and he said oh man uh, let's see that's John 1 1 Matthew Mark Luke John if you have a Bible Matthew Mark Luke John Matthew is the first book of the New Testament Mark's the second Luke's the third and then and then the book of John and, and John here writing in John 1 and 1. 
Let's read it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the same was in the beginning with Him, and all things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and that life was the life that lighted off <coughs> all men. And the light that lighteth all men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness overcometh it not. Wow. This is Jesus, chapter 8 of Proverbs. All right, listen to Brother Peter here. He came, part of the Godhead, came down. He was the eternal being, not a creature, not a creation, but the eternal being. He was the part of God when God was. When the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost said this, God said, let us make man in our own image. Go over there in Genesis chapter 1 and verses, a few verses down, where he said, let us make man in our own image. Who was he talking to? He was talking to the Son and the Holy Spirit, the three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the three in one. You say he was talking to himself? Yeah, he was talking to part of himself because he has three separate parts that were all one. And what he does, what Jesus did, was came down on the earth and then went back with the Father. Now he sent the Holy Spirit. Now at the end of time, as we know it, and everlasting begins, eternity begins, and time will be no more, and everlasting will begin, then the Godhead will be all one again. And you know what's going to happen then? We are going to be part of the Godhead. <laughs> so, and let me tell you what's going to happen. When the new heaven and the new earth come down, God's probably going to say here, let us make a new heaven and a new earth. And when he says that, do you know who's involved in it? We are. The saints of God today will be involved in that new heaven and that new earth that come down. And instead of Lucifer being in the Garden of Eden, we will be in the Garden of Eden. And there will be no more sin, no more temptation, no more following of the devil. There'll be no more devil. He'll be cast into the lake of fire for eternity in the bottomless pit with no end forever to be going flowing. Ooh, I visited there one time. I visited there one time in my life and God brought me back. Ooh, what a precious thing God brought me back. I visited an endless tunnel and, and I was only there for a short time but it was like an eternity to me and I said, is this what hell is like? 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 Continually until my head busted. And no way out. No way out. Man, I'm telling you, get saved today. Ask the Lord Jesus to forgive you your sin. Come in your heart and save your soul before it's everlastingly too late. He was a member of the Godhead. He was an eternal being. He is the eternal king. He is the eternal king. One and eight. One and eight. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and forever. Thy scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Jesus was that scepter God held out onto the earth. And he put his scepter down here on the earth and said, You go to the cross, do what I'm asking you to do. And all that you have put that scepter toward, will come and be with us forever. And you will be that king, the king of kings, the lord of lords, over the host of hosts, over not only the host of all of the angelic beings, the angels, cherubims, cherubims, and all of those things that are mentioned in the Bible, but you will also be the king of king and lord of lords over the host of all of those that are reaped in the harvest out of the world uh, through the ages from uh, Adam on to the end where the earth will be cast into the lake of fire forever and ever to burn and a new heaven and a new earth and you will be that king talking to his son. Our time has come and gone. I must go now. It has really been enjoyable being with you today. It has been fun for me and there is no end, <laughs> no end to this book. I can sit here and do this every 15 minutes from now until the stars fall out of heaven and never burn out 
and never be never run up on something that there's not something else right behind it. We'll see you next time, Brother Peter, tidbits from the